In this video, I'm gonna show you a simple five-man A-gap nano concept that you can use to get instant pressure right through the A-gap in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and uh, turn on those notifications because I release new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And I have to tell you, this nickel triple defense that I just released last weekend, it just keeps getting better. We've uh, we've updated it a couple of times over the last couple of days, and I absolutely am falling in love with this defense. I think this is the best defense in the game right now. There are so many concepts and so many ways that we can turn this into an absolutely amazing and incredible pressure defense and also a really, really, really good coverage defense. So if you want to get my full nickel triple defensive ebook, there's a link in the description. You just got to click that link. It'll take you right over to the website and you can get the full ebook with updates all throughout the season and any kind of um, and any kind of patches that are changing, we update the guide completely for free. You can get all of that uh, for just 15 bucks. So again, there's a link in the description. You just click that link and we'll take care of you just like that. So the play is Nickel Blitz 2. And I have to tell you, you could do this from any of the plays in the formation. But the Nickel Blitz 2 to me is the best one because it's got cover 2 coverage behind it. We're going to really try to clamp down on the underneath stuff and take that away. So Nickel Blitz 2, I like either Nickel Blitz 2 or Nickel Blitz 3, or just the plain old Nickel Blitz format. Any of those plays is going to work for this. This is insane. I can't wait to share it. So let's jump into the video. We're going to have some fun in this video. So Nickel Blitz 2, all we're going to do, all we're going to do is we are going to globally blitz our linebackers, okay? Once we do that, I like to take this guy, Williams, right here, and I like to put him in man-to-man -man coverage on the running back. Then we're going to grab Thompson, and we're going to bring him right over the gap just like this. So I like to press coverage. Um, now, we don't want to put this guy. We want this guy from depth. We don't want him pressed. Okay, so you can man up the bunch side, which is what I often do, which allows me the freedom to basically be able to play the middle read zone over the middle of the field. And what you're going to see is at the snap of the ball, you're either going to get a gap or you're going to get edge pressure. Okay, you're either going to get a gap or you're going to get edge pressure. Now, the beauty of this is we can do a couple different things with this. Okay, so what we can do is we can also drop both of these guys we don't have to blitz either one of these guys for this pressure to work so for example we could man this guy up on the running back we could drop this guy right here golden into a uh like a like a hard flat or something and then we've got man lock on that side so now like i said we're only blitzing five people okay um we're only blitzing five people we got great coverage on this play and take a look at this a gap pressure you're getting from your defensive tackle that nose tackle a cap is insane i literally i love this blitz because it is so dang good and again you can do a lot of things if you want to show blitz feel free to do that you can show blitz out of this i'm also going to show you how you can use her um, a different player here in just a second but i want to show it from this look first as you see we zone off on this backside and watch the consistency this is so consistent occasionally he will trip but most of the time that's more of a practice mode fluke thing and it, it, it and to be honest with you the pressure is going to scare the crap out of your opponent it really truly is now Another little trick that I like to do is let's say you want to run, let's say you actually want to run the cover two, okay? Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on to this guy, Williams, and I'm going to user him, okay? And, and what you'll see here is snap of the ball, and you're going to get, more than likely, you're going to get edge pressure. The one reason why your A gap will get picked up is you don't want to be in the gap, okay? So if we show blitz and we bring this guy back like so, we, we want to make sure that he is on his own, okay? You, I find it to work much better if he's on his own. Just telling you, that's what I found. So then snap of the ball, come down, and as you see, look at that. Look at that. Look at the pressure. This is insanely good pressure. It's five-man nano A-gap. This is insane. Defensive tackle A-gap every single time. Watch this again. Look at this pressure. Who in the world is this guy blogging? Look at who he's looking at. Nobody. Like, he's basically, look at where he's at. <laughs> I just think this pressure is so good. And as you can see, I mean, it just comes completely clean. Now, let me show you a couple of things that they can do to stop this from an offensive perspective or some things that you need to watch out for. So first things first is a blocked running back. So if they block their running back, this is why I like to man up Williams and then use her the safety. Because if they block their running back, 
um, this is going to help them pick up the pressure. But if we've got him manned up, oftentimes this helps us. So you'll see here, um, typically if they do the blocked running back, for me, it does stop the blitz most of the time. Now, we do have some other blitzes in our nickel triple defensive ebook that is going to teach you how to get pressure for when they block a running back very consistently. In fact, we've got a couple that are literally double A gaps. This will, for the most part, work, though, I will say. Like, as long as you hold left trigger, and of course, I messed up, my, messed up everything on that. One sec, let me try that one more time. As long as you hold left trigger with your user, this actually will uh, come in more times than you think. Okay, um, so again, I'm just going to hold left trigger with my user. I'm going to block the running back. And there you see the A gap. See that? Now we do get nano detected. I will tell you that if you have the unpredictable ability and you're doing this in game, I found a lot more success with this uh, just doing that. So you don't have to worry too much about the nano detection. Honestly, you're going to scare the bejesus out of them anyway because you're literally coming right through their A gap. As you can see here, there's the DTA gap with the, with the blocked running back. So for the most part, as long as you... With your user, I do want to make sure you understand. This is also, again, I want to be clear. If I were to man this guy up with Golden, and I were to use her Williams, okay? I just want to show you what's going to happen. So if I did that, I'm going to stand right here, hold left trigger, snap the ball, and you see it's not as good, okay? It's much better if you man the running back up with the left, with the inside linebacker uh, from this formation. So that's where I say either user, you can use her Golden, like, you can feel free to use her golden. This is fine right here. You know, you see here we get A-gap and edge heat. Like, it's good heat, right? So if you want to, you can do that. Um, the reason that I don't necessarily like to do that is because I want to get a plus one advantage on this bunch side. So I could do man coverage right there, take this safety. I could even stay over here if I want to. And at the snap of the ball, you see... We're going to get disengaged or we're going to get daggone clean A-gap pressure. Now, let me show you uh, one more time the blocked running back, and then we'll talk about the blocked tight end. Now, the blocked tight end is probably the best chance they have at consistently picking this pressure up. It doesn't always pick it up, but it does sometimes. But anyways, let me show you. So, again, you're going to stand, like, right here. Hold left trigger, snap of the ball, and there you see your nose tackle coming through the A-gap, right? Um, and like I said, unpredictable, and if it's in game, you're going to find a lot less of the time you're going to get nano detected. Okay, so now let me show you. Um, let me show you what happens when they block their tight end. Now, when they block their tight end, to me, this is the best thing that they could do to pick this up. And what you'll see is, for the most part, this does pick up the blitz. Um, like I said, in the guide, we have uh, a pressure that you can run. If you're forcing them to block their tight end so much, we have several different blitzes that we can run off of the left side that are really, really hard for the tight end to be able to pick up and will allow you to send pressure, you know, only sending two or three people. Okay? But now let me, let me take this a step further. So let's say they do that. They block the tight end. Okay? Snap of the ball. We'll show this. You will sometimes get some looping pressure, as you saw right there. He'll kind of like kind of fight in passive pressure uh, style. Now, let me show you Max Protect. This is another reason why I absolutely love this blitz because it's fairly decent against Max Protect and it's fairly decent against a blocked running back. Um, so you'll see right here, Max Protect. Oftentimes, you get a looping pressure or some gap heat from the B gap. We didn't get that there. The Max Protect was able to stop it. But again, like I said, in the guide, we have other blitzes that you can use. So if they block anyone, yeah, they do have a pretty good chance at picking this up. But they have to block somebody to pick this up. And like I said, if they don't, you're coming right down the middle. And if they do, I will tell you, you get really good sheds or oftentimes... What will happen is you'll get um, a looping a gap a gap pressure. Okay, so you know what I mean. This blitz is one of my favorites in the game. There's so much you can do from this. Um, there's so many things that will make this even better that we talk about in the ebook. But I mean, how in the world can you argue with double a gap pressure, literally from the defensive tackle? I think that's insane. I think that this blitz is. It really is that good. Um, you could do some stuff like this and where we man up those two guys on the outside guys. And now we've got a ton of beneficial things that we got going on. And if they pick up for, if they do any slide protection, anything, and somehow they pick up the A gap pressure out of this formation, you can feel really uh, good because you're going to oftentimes get wide open edge heat 
uh, off that guy as well. So as you see there, the, the, the cap pressure is so good out of this defense. So if you want to learn the full nickel triple defense it's on sale for just 15 dollars. all you have to do is go down to the description click the link that i put in the description below and you can get the entire defensive ebook for just 15 bucks thanks for your time i hope you enjoyed the video man this defense is so good and i would really encourage you if you want to learn the full version of it grab the defensive guide today it really is that good